Well, to better understand the emissions associated with the commercial aviation uh, sector, our study developed a uh, bottoms-up global aviation CO2 inventory for 2018. Uh, summary statistics on uh, operations and fuel burn uh, globally are available uh, to the public, but there's relatively little data about the fuel burn, fuel efficiency, and carbon emissions, uh, both regionally and, and nationally. Um, and policymakers can't determine what uh, emissions are coming from their nations or their regions to help set policies that will uh, promote uh, fuel efficiency and reducing carbon emissions. Um, they can't distinguish the proportion between domestic and international operations as well as what are passenger emissions and freight emissions. Yeah, the discussion of allocating aviation emissions has been going on for close to two decades. Uh, there is a whole bunch of proposals, whether it's based off of where the fuel is purchased, where the aircraft is taken off or arrives, where the passenger or the freight takes off or arrives, or even just not allocating it at all. Uh, there is no set uh, proposal that has been settled upon. We decided to focus on the departure country because those are where the emissions are originating from, um, as well as possibly where most of the fuel is being purchased from. We have seen that a majority of the regional uh, emissions are occurring in the Asian Pacific region. Uh, with nearly 25% of the global passenger-related CO2 emissions occurring there. Uh, this region is home to four of the top 10 emitting countries for commercial aviation, uh, China, India, Japan, and Australia. Uh, if we look at just single countries, the United States is the top emitter with new, almost 25% of the global emissions and domestic alone accounting for 17% of global totals. If we took the entire European Union, all 28 current states, uh, their emissions are nearly 19% of the global CO2 total, uh, followed by China at 13%. Um, there is uh, quite the difference between the emissions associated with freight and with passenger transport. Uh, we estimated in our study that uh, freight, whether it be on a passenger aircraft or a dedicated freighted aircraft, accounts for only 20% of the global CO2 emissions from commercial aviation. Uh, we plan on uh, repeating this annually so we can see uh, what kind of progress we have, as well as trying to refine it as more better quality data becomes available. Um, and more information is available regarding passenger load factors or freight carriage, we can refine and, and enhance our, our methodology. Uh, another prospect is to look at future schedules data and kind of project uh, what uh, emissions could be uh, before the year starts and then turn around and use actual historical data to see um, what ended up happening that year and, and, and possibly improving our projections by seeing what kind of differences there were between what we thought was going to happen and what actually did.